What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, Hoop State Hype on the YouTube channel here on the Hoop State Network. Miles Mastercola is your host. We got Max behind the camera, and we're at the beautiful lower building here at the Bass Smith Funeral Home in Hickory, North Carolina. I mentioned, I mentioned it. You know, we've talked about Bass Smith before. It's the best funeral home in the state of North Carolina. So, a little shameless plug here. They're not sponsoring the show or anything like that. They're just gracious enough to let us use the space to shoot today's episode. So, we've had a lot of action over the past little bit, and we have a lot of action to preview over this upcoming week going on in the Hoop State. Um, I think one of the biggest things we want to talk about is word of God. You know, they, they get the national ranking they're looking for. They bring in Freddie Dillio and they have this buzz building about them. And unfortunately, they weren't able to capitalize on it. And they ended up losing a couple tough games to Liberty Heights, who's looking like the real deal and like a national top 15 level team. And then you also have Lake Norman Christian, who's on a serious upswing. First, we'll talk about Liberty Heights. They're the best defensive team in the Hoop State as a unit because you have a great blend of pests and guys that get after it on the perimeter, whether that be a Jeremy Baker, an Elijah Jamison, a PJ Edwards, a T. Bryant. Any of those guys are very versatile and dynamic perimeter defenders. And you have Jonas Adu down low to kind of clean everything up and Isaac Faraz, that 6'8", 6'9", guy. That can guard three to four positions uh, in spots and does a really, really good job for this team. They're looking really, really good. They handled the Word of God. That game was pretty much decided earlier in the fourth quarter after Word of God made a little bit of a run to narrow the deficit, but Liberty Heights ended up finding a way to go away with it. And then the Lake Norman Christian game. Lake Norman Christian just battled completely back. A.J. Allen's back was unbelievable. Trey Green, Mikey Williams, their whole crew found a way to get a signature win, another signature win under Pat McCarthy as that program is on an upward trajectory right now. Um, and they have a big one coming up. Two big ones coming up this week on Friday against Victory Christian and on Saturday against High Point Christian, which will be on um, the Hoop State Network that Saturday game will be. Moravian beats the Burlington School. The Burlington School had had such a great stretch kind of coming in. It's a win over Greensboro Day, a win over High Point Christian, a win over Bull City Prep, a win over Henderson Collegiate, and then Moravian without two key contributors in Cedric Patterson and BJ Freeman. BJ Freeman really being the star of the show. Goes on the road and knocks him off. It was a big performance from Jackson Holt, a big performance from Eli Ellis. I think he had 19 points and 10 assists. Moravian. They're the giant killers. They, they found a way to beat teams in games where a lot of people don't think they have a chance, where, especially when teams are playing really well. And I think it's just the fact that they're an unorthodox team. And I talked about it a little bit with Rod on the podcast the other night. They're running, they're running like four or five pick and roll with shooters everywhere. Like that's tough to stop. So this Moravian team shouldn't be taken lightly by anybody, despite the fact that they may have lost some pieces earlier in the year. They look like they're playing really, really good basketball. You know, they took a tough one to Northside Christian at the Phenom MLK, but they bounced back with a great win. And, and we'll, we'll kind of see how they finish out the rest of the regular season as we approach the Hoop State Championship in mid-March. Looking ahead at this week, uh, I think this episode is coming out after the, the doubleheader on Tuesday night presented by Phenom Hoops. That doubleheader is Victory Christian playing Carmel Christian and then the Burlington School playing Liberty Heights. Um, predictions on that game, we're shooting the day before, the episode will probably be out the day after, so I'm trying to think a prediction. I'd probably lean Carmel Christian in a close one, and I think Liberty Heights, with their size, kind of overwhelms the Burlington School, because they really only have one big guy down low in Kalil Mating, but we'll see how it shakes out. I think that game, both those games are, can be looked at as coin toss games one way or the other. I think both teams are, are capable of winning each of those matchups, but we'll kind of see how it shakes out. I'll be on the call for that, so hopefully you tuned in, and hopefully my predictions are right, but who knows with me? I mean, I'm notorious for getting games wrong. That's one of the things I do best. After that, we have Kinston and Washington. Kinston, tough stretch without Dontre Styles. They lose, I want to say it was South Lenore, maybe North Lenore, in an uncharacteristic way. They lo they get blown out at Washington. We have the rematch. They play at home against Washington on Friday night, and it, it seems like Dontre Styles will be back. We'll see. I guess we'll learn more throughout the week. Maybe at the time of this, this show airing, we'll know. But either way, they're a snake without its head without Dontre. It, it, it's tough to see them try to put the pieces together, but if he comes back and is able to kind of fill in the gaps and everyone else can revert back to their normal comfortable role, they should be fine, but they're gonna need him to come back if they wanna right the ship, because it's been it's been tough sledding in K-Town lately. But I truly believe that the return of Dontre Styles will help propel them to where they need to be. Late Norman Christian, we mentioned it earlier, playing high point Christian, big time point guard matchup, KJ Garrett going up against really the three-headed backcourt monster of Mikey Williams, Trey Green, and Josh Bullock. And then after that, South Granville taking on Davidson Day in a private public matchup. It's gonna be really, really exciting between those two teams. Bobby Pettiford and Colin Tanner are lighting up the scoreboards for South Granville. And then for Davidson Day, they have a great group of guys, core group led by Donovan Atwell, Blaine St. Clair, and a freshman, a freshman in Jackson Prunty, who has a chance to be really, really good. So those are all games that we're going to be bringing to you live on the Hoop State Network this week. We have a lot to get to. I really appreciate everyone for tuning into this episode. Excited to see everyone tune into the streams this week. It's going to be fun. A lot of them will be free on YouTube, and some will be behind a paywall, but excited to bring it all to you live. Like, we can't say enough how much we appreciate your support. Um, go to HoopStateStore.com to get your merch. Check out the hoodie. It's fresh. I know. We, you know, we do what we can out here. We're trying to make things work. And that's about it, man. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see y'all very, very soon. Thank you so much.